Chiku. Oh, hello there, my sweetie. How are you doing today? I am good, Grandma. Just wanted to chat for a bit. What have you been up to? Well, I've been tending to my garden and reading a good book. What's on your mind today, dear? Not much, really. School's going okay, and I've been playing soccer with my friends. Oh, and I got a new book from the library. That sounds like fun and exciting. I always loved reading adventure stories when I was your age. Do you need any help with your homework or anything else? Grandma, I'm having a problem with my cousin Vinod. Oh, what's going on, dear? We were supposed to do our homework together, but he's not taking responsibility for his part. He keeps blaming me for playing and distracting him. That doesn't sound good. Did you try talking to him about it? Yes, I did, Grandma. I told him we need to finish our homework, but he just said it's my fault for playing games with him. I see. It's important to work together and not shift the blame. Maybe you can sit down with him again and explain how working on homework is essential. And he shouldn't be blaming you for not focusing. I'll try that, but it's frustrating, Grandma. He should take responsibility for his homework too. I understand how you feel, my dear. It can be frustrating when someone doesn't take responsibility for their actions. Just remember to be patient and encourage him to do the right thing. Let me share you a humorous story that tells the importance of not placing blame on others and embracing responsibility for their own actions. Oh yes, Grandma, your stories help understand the situation. In better way. Okay then, the story is called the cat's legs. There once lived four traders who jointly owned a big shop of grapes. Year after year, their business flourished, and they made quite a profit until one season. When some chukur 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 rats took refuge in the shop, rampaging the storeroom and destroying almost a quarter of the grapes, the four traders were worried, and one of them exclaimed, "Hmm, this is a calamity." They discussed the issue, and one suggested. We must do something about these rats. Let's buy a cat and keep it here in a shop. The others agreed to the idea, and they bought a meow, meow, meow cat. They fed the cat milk and fish, giving her all the attention and care she needed, and the cat felt. Proud, as she roamed about the shop freely. At night, the traders left the cat in the storeroom of their shop and went home. Soon, the cat began her work, catching and eating up all the rats in just a short time. The next day, when the four traders arrived at their shop. They found the storeroom neat and tidy, with all sacks intact. Oh, it seems the cat has done her job," 
said the traders happily, deciding to take care of the cat and keep her as a guard in their shop. One of the traders proposed, As the cat has a four legs, each of us should look after a leg. That will ensure we all look after that cat equally. The others liked the idea, so each of the partner took charge of one leg of the cat. One day, the cat hurt one of its legs and instantly the trader who was supposed to look after the leg cleansed the wound and bandaged the leg. He comforted the cat saying, You will be alright soon dear while patting the cat lovingly. Slowly the cat recovered. One night, as she was roaming about in the storeroom, she went too close to a lamp and knocked it down by mistake. The glass cover of the lamp broke and the cat's bandage caught fire. cried the cat running around panic stricken. To put off the fire, she began to rub her bandaged leg against a sack. <gasps> Oof! The sack caught fire too. The cat then jumped onto another sack and began to rub that bandage on another sack. Setting it on fire as well, one by one. All the sacks caught fire and soon the entire shop was in flames. In the morning, the four traders were in shock and cried out, We are ruined! What shall we do now? When they figured out the reason for the fire, they began to blame the partner who took care of the bandaged leg. It was all because of you. They shouted at him. You bandaged the leg that belonged to you. And the bandage caught fire and so spread all over, destroying the entire shop. You must compensate us for it. They took the partner to the magistrate, a wise old man. The magistrate listened to the whole story and then said, It is true that the bandage caught fire, but how did the fire spread? Certainly not because of the bandaged leg, but because of the three sound legs that carried the cat from one sack to another setting the entire shop on fire. So, not the fourth partner, but the others are to blame. You three, who own the three sound legs of the cat, must compensate your fourth partner for his loss. Now the three partners began to beg for mercy and the fourth partner, who was kind-hearted, requested the magistrate to forgive the other partners. The magistrate advised them, saying, If you trust an animal to guard your place, this will be the consequence. The four partners thanked the magistrate and went home wiser. So, that was today's story, my dear, and it says, keep being responsible and doing your part and hopefully your cousin will learn from your example. I am so glad you called, dear. It's always nice to catch up with you. If you ever want to talk or need anything, you know, you can call me anytime. Thanks, Grandma. I love talking to you. You are the best. 
you are the best too, my dear. I love you very much. Love you too, Grandma. Take care and I'll talk to you soon. You too, sweetie. Bye for now. And that wraps up today's podcast. Grandma is closing the book for now. See you next week. Take care. Calling all our young listeners and readers. We want to see your creativity in action. Share your drawings, poems or anything inspired by this blog with us. We'll showcase your amazing work in our next post. Can't wait to see you what you come up with. And that wraps up today's story. Grandma is closing the book for now. See you next week. Take care.